This video will show you how to create and insert a line graph in your Google Doc. The first thing you'll want to do is access your Google Drive and go into the folder in which your lab report has been created in. We'll double click on it to open it up. And we can see that we have our title, problem, hypothesis, materials, procedures, and data table completed with our levels of independent variable. In the left hand column, our data we collected in the sender, and in the right hand column, we'll have our averages of that data. So we're ready to graph. In order to create our graph, we're going to go back into our Google Drive. In the folder that we're working out of, we're going to create a new Google Sheet. Once it's been created, the first thing you want to do is rename it to something you can remember and access later. Mine is going to be called Example Graph. After doing so, we'll select a column in which we want to start in. Columns go up and down, and in this column we're going to put our levels of independent variable from our data table. So we'll go back to our lab report, and our levels of amount of water in milliliters were 100, 200, and 300. So in our Google Sheet, we're going to go 100, 200, oops, 300. After we've done that, in the column right next to it, we're going to put our averages for those levels of independent variable. So we'll go back to our lab report, and we're going to look at our averages of 6, 8, and 4. And we're going to put that data in right next to the level of independent variable in which it goes with, 6, 8, 4. After doing so, we want to select all of this data. We can do that by clicking and holding and then dragging to highlight. And up top we want to click insert, chart. Chart is Google's word for graph. And a chart will pop up. We'll also open the chart editor in the right hand side. If you ever click off of this and lose your chart editor, you will just want to select or highlight your graph and click on the menu in the upper right hand corner and edit chart to bring back your chart editor. We can see that our levels of independent variable are all numerical data, 100, 200, and 300. So right away we know this is supposed to be a line graph um, and it defaulted to a bar graph. So we'll want to change our column chart, our chart type from column chart to line. Should be your first selection there. That will change us to a line graph and we're going to move from our data side of our chart editor to our customize menu. Once we're there, we need to look down at our chart and access titles menu and click on that and it will drop down some options for you. In the type, we want to leave chart title and in our title text, we want to put the title for our experiment or which will also be the title for our graph. So we can click back over on our lab report, come to the top, and we're going to copy and paste our title in. So you can click and hold and drag to highlight, hit control C or right click and copy. We go back to our graph and we're going to control V or right click and paste to put our title in and as you can see it immediately shows up at the top of our graph. So now our graph is titled. Before we move on we also want to change our horizontal axis title. Horizontal axis will be your independent variable down here at the bottom from left to right. So we need to get our label for our independent variable, which in this case is amount of water in milliliters. And you can select control C back, control V to paste that. And as you can see, it will show up as the label now for our independent variable on our graph. Last thing we want to do in this section is Go ahead and add our vertical axis title, which is the label for your dependent variable right here. So we'll go back to our lab report, get our label for our dependent variable, control C or copy. In our title text, we're going to control V or right click paste. And now that will show up on our vertical axis. So we have our independent variable labeled, our dependent variable labeled and our graph is titled. You can click on chart and axis titles again or this arrow to collapse that menu so it will give us more room to work. Click on horizontal axis 
and it'll drop down some options that we can keep working on our graph. We want all of our graphs to start at an XY intercept of 0, 0. This defaulted to an XY intercept of 0 and 100, so we want to change some things to make this a more appropriate graph. In our minimum value range, we want to ins uh, select 0. And as you can see on our graph, it, tr it shifted our, our line over completely to the right. So in order to get this back more centered in our graphing area, what I'll do on this one is enter a maximum value range of 400. When I do that, now my line is in the center of my graph, still taking up most of my graphing area. That's all we're going to do in that section. So if you click horizontal axis or the arrow, it'll collapse that menu, and now we can work on our vertical axis. In the minimum value range, we're going to make sure we enter 0. And in the maximum value range, I want this line to come down a little bit to look a little nicer on this graph. So I'm going to put 10 as my maximum value to shift that line down a little bit. Now we can clearly see our data. Our line's taking up most of our graphing area, um, and it just looks nice. So now that we're finished, we can click outside. Our chart editor will disappear. In order to get this into your Google Doc, you're going to want to select your graph, click on the menu option in the upper right-hand corner, and click Copy Chart. We'll go to our lab report, go down to our graphing section, and paste or Control V to insert. And this menu or this option box will come up and ask you to paste chart and link it to your spreadsheet or paste it unlinked. We want to paste it linked to our spreadsheet. That way, any changes that you make to this data or this graph will also show up on the graph that you've pasted in your Google Doc. We'll click the Paste button once we know that that's selected, and our graph will now show up in our Google Doc.